Hey guys, new information on what went down in Mexico with the young lady and her three friends who went to have surgery. Apparently, the Mexican cartel wasn't happy with the outcome of what had happened, you guys. So they've issued an apology and they have turned over the people who they say are responsible, who they're saying did this without permission and went completely against their rules. I'm going to have a video coming up. Well, actually two videos coming up, guys. But first, I got to do my spiel. You know this. This video is being made for entertainment, informational, and educational purposes under the Fair Use Act. No copyright infringement is intended. In the case of a criminal act, please note that every person is considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Welcome back, my beautiful people. I'm coming back at you today with an update on what happened to the four people, the four U.S. citizens that were kidnapped in Mexico. Apparently, the cartel was not pleased with what had happened. So it looks like they decided that these people were bad apples and they wanted them out of the bunch. They issued a letter of apology and they also left the young men who were supposedly had done the kidnapping and the crossing over lying tied up in the street. And they left an arsenal of weapons, which I'm going to assume, and I'm just assuming, that these are supposedly the weapons that were used in the kidnapping and the crossing overs. And they left also a note issuing an apology and stating that it was not their idea to do that. Lester Holt did a newscast on NBC Nightly News with a video showing that the cartel had actually left these people for the authorities. What's coming up now, guys? Good evening and thank you for joining us. A stunning apology for the kidnapping and murders of Americans on a visit to Mexico is giving rare insight into the thinking of a notorious criminal organization. The apology coming in a letter purporting to be from the Gulf Cartel, in which it seems to disavow a direct role in the attack that left two Americans and a Mexican citizen dead, blaming it on errors caused by the undisciplined and suggesting the violent acts were done by those working alone, acting against the rules. In the letter, which a senior law enforcement official says is believed by U.S. authorities to be legitimate, the group strongly condemns the kidnappings and murders. The letter obtained by the Associated Press included a picture of bound men and warned that the guilty parties will pay. Morgan Chesky has more. The stunning photos show five men laying on the pavement, each with hands tied and all but one shirtless, with a handwritten letter claiming to be from Mexico's Gulf Cartel stuck to the windshield. A bizarre scene that tonight a senior law enforcement official tells NBC News appears to be an apology from the cartel following the kidnapping that left two Americans dead. The shocking admission, almost unprecedented. Have you seen a oh. PR situation like this? No, I have not. They made a huge mistake. Uh, they killed uh, two Americans, and uh, they know that the uh, Mexican government is going after them. They know that we're going to go after them as, as, as well. The letter, obtained by the Associated Press from a Mexican official, includes apologies to the people of Matamoros the Mexican woman who was killed, and the families of the Americans. It reads in part, the Gulf Cartel Scorpion Group strongly condemns the events of Friday, March 3rd. For this reason, we have decided to hand over those involved, adding the men acted under their own determination, and undisciplined and against the rules in which the cartel has always operated. Mexican authorities have not confirmed if the men are in custody or if they're truly responsible. Meanwhile, in Texas, as officials work to get two slain Americans back home, survivor Eric James Williams is recovering. His wife sharing doctors placed metal rods in his leg, wounded in the hail of gunfire. Tonight
denied the cartel, ending their letter, asking society to remain cold, closing with the guilty parties will pay, regardless of who they are. Morgan, what more can you tell us about the condition and the status of the American victims? Lester, we know this process to repatriate or recover those two Americans have been ongoing for several days now. And just in the last few minutes, our crew witnessed this solid procession, multiple vehicles crossing this international bridge from Mexico back onto U.S. soil, carrying those two Americans. We're told they're headed to a local funeral home, and future arrangements are expected. Lester. All right, Morgan Chesky, thank you for that. Today, word of yet another derailment over the... Then, guys, in a second newscast from News Nation, they also detail the results of the cartel leaving these individuals lying tied, some together, three, four without a sh with a, without shirts, and one with a shirt in the streets with a note of apology, weapons, and saying that these people were not acting in their with permission from their cartel the cartel suspected of kidnapping four americans in mexico and killing two of them has issued an apology letter yeah they're doing some public relations so to speak the group known as the scorpions which is part of the gulf cartel claims that they've turned in the members the gang members or cartel members they say are responsible for kidnapping those four americans and a handwritten letter says that these men lacked discipline and they acted on their own accord. Today, the bodies of Zendel Brown and Shaheed Woodard are back in the United States. Those were the two murdered in that kidnapping. Uh, their two friends who survived are still recovering at a hospital in Texas. Jorge Ventura is live in Brownsville with more. Jorge. Good morning, Adrian. I'm here in Brownsville, but I'm just a few miles away from where that kidnapping attack happened in cartel-controlled Matamoros. The big question that remains this morning is if those five men that were turned over by the Gulf Cartel to the authorities if those five men are indeed responsible for the kidnapping attack. As of right now, only one individual has been arrested in connection to that kidnapping attack. That's the Mexican national 24-year-old male that was captured when the Americans discovered. Now, Adrian, I did speak with some of my Mexican sources who say they believe this is a tactic from the cartel where they turn over five low-level members over to the authorities to stop the investigation into the individuals who are indeed responsible for the, uh, for the attack. As of right now, we'll still wait for Mexican law enforcement. If that, uh, if those five individuals are confirmed for the attack, once we do have that update, we'll bring it right to you. Now, the bodies of Shahid Porter and Zendel Brown, the two Americans that were killed in the kidnapping attack, those bodies were transferred back to the U.S. yesterday. We were live on the scenes to get video of that. They were transferred from the state morgue in Matamoros back to the, to the U.S. And right now, this is all happening as U.S. officials are increasing that pressure on Mexico to, de to designate the cartels as a terrorist organization. As of right now, Mexican President Amo says he will not allow any type of U.S. foreign intervention. Uh, the latest updates we also do have the, the survivors, Eric Willing and the family McGee, they're still recovering in the Brownsville Hospital. We are expected that they'll be released in the next coming days. But family members are, are both saying that they are suffering a very traumatic experience watching their friends die in Matamones. All right, Jorge, thank you very much. Mitch, over to you. Thank you for watching. Okay, guys, and it's sad about what happened here and we are hoping for justice and if these are the correct people that's been turned over we are hoping and praying that mexico will go on and do what they need to do this young lady here latavia mcgee was the person who was seeking medical treatment she crossed over into mexico to have a procedure done and it all just went crazy unexpectedly it wasn't something that they were even considering would happen. And from my listening to some of the research that I did, they're saying that this wasn't her first time going there. So I, I'm assuming that things worked out the first time. But she managed to come back home safe and sound to her family, and that's a beautiful thing. This young man here is her friend. His name is Eric Williams. He was also in the vehicle as they crossed over to the Mexican border. And he, too, was shot, from what I have learned, three times in his leg. But he did survive, which is a beautiful thing. And he's, they're both actually home in a hospital in Texas, from what I understand. 
and they're both doing okay and she's actually gone home to her family but he's still in the hospital at my last uh, research this young man here Shahid Woodard he was also a passenger in the car and he was a relative of Latavia his mom said that they had grown up together she had taken him in after his mother passed he wasn't so lucky guys he is one that did not make it and this young man Zendale Brown also was one that was not so lucky and the two of them both were crossed over after the melee that happened with the cartel and after they were taken hostage and crossed over I'm sure this was a very sad day for his family who actually did an interview on a prior video that I did stating that no news was good news because as of that time they had not heard anything but now it's been confirmed guys so we want to keep all of these families all of these these individuals I'm going to keep all these families in prayer and we're going to pray that Mexico do the right thing and prosecute these people now United States officials has asked its citizens the US citizens to stay away from Mexico and they named seven cities and a total of 17 cities that they say they have de determined to be unsafe but I myself guys have no intention of going to Mexico I thought about having a vacation down there but with all the things that have been going on down there it's probably best for me to do as the US officials ask but at either rate guys thank you for coming thank you for your support thank you for your interest please subscribe to my video channel and hit my like button because I try to get all my videos to get about 10,000 likes a lot of times I don't get there but with your help and your support and you guys have been so great I appreciate you so much for being there but please if you can go on and hit that subscribe button for me tap that like button for me share the video if you want to that'd be great I would love to see you share the video also if you want to receive updates immediately as I post and I'm going to be posting several more of these several more of these if you want to receive these updates immediately then I'm going to need you to tap on that notification bell and guys I am always interested in what you try what you all have to say and my regular subscribers will tell you and commenters will tell you that it may take me a little bit but I usually try to get back to each and every one and let you know that I appreciate you guys and I will do my best to get back it's going to be a heavy weekend of downloading but I'm going to do my best to get back to my people to reply to their comments again thank you guys I got much 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 love for you smooches to you smooches to you smooches to you thanks for coming